Hi, this is Becky Nunn, and Cynthia has come down with Art Beads to shoot a mini tutorial showing how to make itsy earrings. So Cynthia, let me show you how easy it is to make these little itsy earrings. They're just super fun, super fast, okay. super easy. Okay. So you're going to want to use your epoxy clay, mm -hmm. and you'll have um, just even two tiny little lentil sized balls like this is going to be enough to do several pairs of earrings, oh, wow. as we're going to see. You'll have your little itsy pieces, and I just mix the clay, put it in, and then use the jump rings to go inside of there to create that fun little look. Okay. And this is the exact same thing, but I just added on, uh, inside the center, I just added a tiny little chiton right in the middle. Okay. So you can create that fun cute. little look like that. You will need to have two pairs of needle nose pliers, and that's okay. only to make it super easy to bring that jump ring really flush before right. you place it in. So I have two lentil sized balls. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and mixed those two pieces until it was no longer marbled. Right. So now I have one nice little ball. I am always working with wet wipes <laughs> on my lap or on my side or someplace so that I can uh, immediately um, wipe my fingers just because the resin um, epoxy clay is kind of sticky. It's really sticky. It's sticky, yes. and so I just like to get it off of my hands because okay. it's easy to get it onto the metal after you have it on your right. fingers. It's just best to just get it off. So, with your two pairs of needle nose pliers, I know you have lots of great tutorials on how to work <laughs> with jump rings, but I'm holding at three o'clock and at nine o'clock, and I'm just. Yes until I get a nice flush mm -hmm. at 12 o'clock. So I'm just taking out that little extra gap. There might be a little bit in there and that's gonna be fine. But you're just gonna to wanna to do two of them. So pinch off a tiny, tiny little ball. And oh. I did a really tiny little ball. It is really small. It is really I'm tiny. Surprised. But I'm, it might not be enough. Oh. But we can add two. So put it on in there mm -hmm. and you start to pat it down. And for this particular earring, I want it to be nice and flush. Okay. Uh, I don't want to have it nice and domed. I want to have it nice and flushed. And, you know, different earrings, you want to do different things. But I just want enough just to have a little bit in the base of it to make it nice and um, even covered. Okay. But if you wanted to put a little bit more in, see, it's much easier to add. <laughs> It's much yes. easier to add to your piece than it is to pull away from it. Right. But let's do one where we put too much okay. so that we can see how easy it is to take away. So we already had plenty in there, mm -hmm. but now we're going to put yeah, too much. So yeah, right. yes. now that could look cool if you wanted it to mm -hmm. be just a nice color and a nice little ball, ball, uh, dome, but we're going for this really flat surface like this. Right. So if you have too much, just pinch off. I'm just kind of bringing it up oh, by pulling I it with see. my fingers like this. You just pinch off a wee bit and then continue mm -hmm. to pat it down. Oh, great. Yeah. So now you know what to do if you have too much and you have an mm -hmm. idea of what to do if you have too little. And you can just do it okay. until you have it just right. right. Then with my wet wipe, I'm making sure that I'm getting all of that clay yes. off of those side edges. I'm yeah. making sure you do that before it dries. Exactly. It, you, have, you have 90 to 120 minutes to mm -hmm. work with the clay before it starts to get hard. But when it goes hard, it's really hard. <laughs> it's, it's cement hard. Oh, yeah. um, it's epoxy and so right. it's great just to go as you're going just mm -hmm. to clean it up then once you have your piece in there and you can see I have it nice and flush and it's nice and smooth I'm just gonna lay down my jump ring okay. right inside of there you can move it around a slight bit to make sure it's nice and centered uh -huh. and then you just press down and this is why also you don't want to have too much clay right. because it'll squish up too mm -hmm. high you want to have just uh, the amount that we had, which is kind of flush to that surface. And you go very slowly and gently and just yeah. push it down. Yeah, just press it down really okay. slightly. And you can still see that little slip right there. Right. But I don't know, something Pac-Man about that. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just kind of fun. So yes. that is how you do that simple one. And then for the next 
you would make your pair and then you would have a set. Mm -hmm. And for doing this, it's the exact same process, but on this one, we laid down the gold jump ring first right. and then put a little chiton on that. So let's go ahead and show that real quick. Okay. When I saw those earrings before, I didn't know it was a jump ring around the, the chaton. Uh, I thought maybe it was a piece of chain or, I don't know, something you made with wire, but didn't think at just all. Just a that simple it little was jump a, ring. Yes. So I have go. that little ball. Okay. You saw that I, I rolled it in my palm mm -hmm. and made it nice and smooth. I find that when I have it already nice and smooth, there's less patting that has to happen. But right. you definitely want to be patting this because... Um, you're pressing it down into the base and okay. you're giving it something to stick to. You're giving it um, the base to stick in, the clay itself, mm -hmm. the base and the side walls. Okay. So I'm patting it down using my wet wipe to wipe so away that excess. So even you're going to put the chaton, you still don't need too much clay. Oh, I, in fact, I probably have a wee bit too much in really? already, yes. Okay. Same thing as we did before. Use your needle nose pliers at 3 o'clock and at 6 o'clock. Make that um, jump ring nice and flush right. at 12. So we take out that little gap. Place it right in the center. Mm -hmm. And this is a little bit bigger, so there's less um, of a gap. Oh, I you see. Know, yes, this one was a little bit smaller, one. so we had right. a little bit more mm -hmm. um, around the outside edge. Uh, so you just want to go ahead and pick up the chiton and place it down into the center and bang. And that's it. That's it. You wow. Have a really <laughs> cute little pair of earrings. Um, you want to let that dry for 90 to 120 okay. minutes. Um, but you are ready to go and uh, you could wear that uh, later on that evening or um, tomorrow. Oh, that's great. On some of these samples here, I just used uh, the same um, base. We okay. have the epoxy clay in the base and then use pieces of chip bead um, and embed right. them into there. This has just a simple little bead cap one. with a tiny little, um, that's just a piece of the one millimeter um, ball chain, ball chain. just right on the, in the inside that's edge. Nice. Um, here's a different combination of colors. So have the gold and the silver right. and the coral. Mm -hmm. And um, these pieces here, you have a really great little uh, mini tutorial where you use the yes. rocks, and um, this just uses the rocks and has a little uh, chain hanging down with a little itsy. That's fun, really huh? good. It is. It is. And you need so little clay, so you can make a bunch of them. That's right. I mean, look how much clay we still yes. have left over um, out of that little tiny bit that we made mm -hmm. um, to make the other pairs and um, right. matching pairs of each of those sets and then more. So it's better to have all of those ear wire ready right. because you will make more. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have it all ready. Um, so this is Becky Nunn here with Cynthia, and we're here at the Nunn Design office showing how you can make fun little itsy earrings. Thank you. Thanks, Cynthia. Thank you.